Welcome to this tutorial on the use of the IEA's IDB Analyzer. In this tutorial, we will show you how to use the IDB Analyzer to compute percentiles of a distribution. A percentile is a point in a distribution that surpasses a given percent of a distribution. For example, the 75th percentile is the point or value in the distribution that separates the lowest 75% of scores from the upper 25% of scores. To follow along this tutorial, you will need the following. A computer running one of the latest versions of Microsoft Windows. This can be a PC or Apple machine running a Windows emulator. The latest version of the IDB Analyzer, which can be downloaded from the IEA website. One of the latest versions of SPSS for Windows. And a dataset for your analysis. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will use Perl's data from the 2011 assessment and that was copied to your computer together with your copy of the IDB Analyzer. The IDB Analyzer is a standalone application that creates SPSS syntax to merge and conduct analysis with large-scale assessment data. For a complete list of compatible studies, please refer to the help manual of the IDB Analyzer. This tutorial will show you how to work with data from any of those studies. Remember that because of the nature of the data collection design, you will need to use sampling weights, use replication methods for estimating sampling variance, use plausible values when analyzing achievement data, estimate measurement variance, and combine the error terms for use in significance testing. Ignoring these design features leads to biased results. The technical documentation of each study has details of the specific procedures to be applied in each assessment. The analysis module of the IDB Analyzer is a tool that allows you to select variables relevant for your analysis, create code in SPSS that will be used for the analysis, conduct analysis taking into account the sample and assessment design, and produce results in different formats that can be readily used by other software. It works by reading a data file stored in your local computer. It then uses SPSS as a computation engine for the analysis. Please note that for more efficient processing, you should use your local machine to save all your results. Before we get started, take this opportunity to launch the IDB Analyzer. If you haven't downloaded the, a copy of the IDB Analyzer, please refer to the first tutorial of this series where you will receive instructions on how to download and install the IDB Analyzer. Also, please start your copy of SPSS. When conducting an analysis, you will first need to select the analysis type. Please note that the program will only allow you to select permissible analysis types based on the contents of your data file. In the second step, you will need to select statistic type. For our example, we will be selecting percentiles. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will show you how to conduct the following analysis. Compute the 25th, 50th, and 75th percentiles for the following variables. Student likes reading students motivated to read, student confident in their reading, and will compute the 20th, 40th, 60th, and 80th percentiles for the following set of possible values, overall reading scale. For this analysis, we'll first select the analysis module. We'll select the data file that we want to use for analysis, in our case, the merge pearls data, located in the examples folder of the IDB Analyzer help manual folder. For analysis types, we'll be doing this analysis at the student level with student weights. Statistics type, we'll be selecting percentiles. For our first example, we'll not be using plus all values. We'll want to display two decimals. For analysis variable, we'll select the ones indicated in the previous slide. So those are going to be A, S, B, G, S. And we'll see that they get filtered. So students like reading, students motivated to read, students confident in their reading ability. The percentiles that we want to calculate are the 25th percentile, the 50th percentile, and the 75th percentile. And we're going to call our output file percentiles with no PVs. We'll start SPSS. 
run all. Or we could also do press control A followed by control R. So let's take a look at the output. First panel, we have unweighted descriptive statistics for all the variables in our analysis by country. In the next panel, we'll have descriptive statistics for the analysis variables by country. But in this case, those statistics are weighted. We'll have a log of the processing. So we did 150 replicates. And we have the result for our first, our second, and our third variable in the analysis. A couple of things to note here is that we'll have the number of cases, the sum of the weights, meaning the estimated population size per country. We'll have the percentiles, the 25th, the 50th, the 75th percentile. And we'll have the error of that percentile. Curiously enough, the standard error for these percentiles comes out to be zero. And even though this might seem like a bug or a mistake in the, in the program, indeed, taking a look at the data, you'll notice that the results for these variables are highly clustered. And so the 25th percentile and the 50th and the 75th percentiles do not vary regardless of the replicate that you're using for your analysis. For the second variable, the motivation to read, we'll see some variation here. But for the most part, those errors are indeed zero. In our second analysis, we will do percentiles using plus all values. And in this case, we will use, um, we'll do them by country. We'll do them for the reading plus all value. And we'll calculate the 20th, the 40th, 60th, and 80th percentile. And we will call our file percentiles with PVs. We start SPSS, and again, we can either press Control A followed by Control R, or we can run all. The following results, we have again, the unweighted descriptive statistics by country. We have the descriptive statistics weighted by country. We have the processing log. And we have the results, the number of cases by country, the sum of the weights, the 20th percentile, the standard error of the 20th percentile, 40th, 60th, 80th percentile. One last thing to show you is the output that gets generated and saved onto the output directory. If we sort the files by date, you will see there that you have the files with the percentiles with no PVs, double clicking on it. You'll see that you have for each country, for each of the variables in the analysis, the number of cases, some of the weights, the value of the percentile with the corresponding standard errors. And we observe the same thing for the percentiles with PVs. We get a similar file for the variable, the reading plus all values. We have the 20th percentiles, 40th percentiles, 60th percentiles, and 80th percentiles. For more information on how the percentile analysis, the percentile statistic type works, please refer to the help manual. Thank you for taking the time to view this tutorial. For more information on using the IBB Analyzer, please view our other online tutorials or refer to the help manual of the IBB Analyzer.